permanent tissues complex permanent tissues as i said you have xylem and phloem phloem and xylem what is the difference first of all xylem when you have the plant and the roots xylem takes all the water and the mineral from the roots to the leaves and phloem basically processes the uh, food in the leaves and from the leaves it transports to the other parts of the plant so phloem is you can remember as full so you have everything that is manufactured which is being transferred to the plant and xylem basically takes all the water and minerals <coughs> from the roots to the leaves for processing now together the xylem and phloem are called as conducting tissues because they are conducting they are conducting either water mineral or food so they have a process of conduction that continuously takes place and then these are part of your vascular bundle so complex tissues whenever i say you have more than one type of cells they perform something which is common to them and these are very very important to understand now we will understand the components of xylem and phloem one by one so xylem you have four components that are seen the first component of the xylem is tracheids the second component is vessels the third component is xylem parenchyma and the fourth component is xylem fiber of these listen very carefully of these only xylem paren xylem parenchyma is the one which is living the the rest of all are not living xylem fiber as the name suggests since it's fibrous the function is supportive in nature tracheids helps in conduction so be it gymnosperm be it angiosperm the main function of the tracheids is uh, conduction of water vessels have a unique function of conducting water to the sideways so basically conducting water to the branches so spreading to the branches is the main idea of the vessels both vessels and tracheids have a thick tubular uh, structure that is present and their movement is more or less vertical and vessels specifically sideways however as they mature they are dead cells so that is the basic function and the basic understanding of the xylem now coming on to the next which is phloem interesting part is xylem is made up of four components however phloem is made up of five components the easiest way to remember is xylem has five letters so it is made up of 5 minus 1 which is four components and phloem has six letters it is made up of 6 minus 1 so you have five components that are present here that's a way so you usually have certain mnemonics that help you understand the concept better now this phloem is divided into five types the five components rather so the first is sieve cells sieve tubes then you have companion cells phloem fiber and phloem parenchyma of these sieve cells are tubular structure that have perforated walls okay <clears throat> so you have uh, sieve cells are tubular structures with perforated walls that are seen all of these are living except phloem fiber which is non living now be very very careful the difference between xylem and phloem in xylem you had only one living which was xylem parenchyma here in phloem you have only one non living component which is phloem fiber rest of all those are living the next is companion cells you have no perforated walls that are present for the companion cells and as i said you have the process of conduction of food that actually takes place from the leaves to the various parts of the plant